Hey YouTube, I'm starting to accumulate a good amount of power tools. I don't know how I want to store and organize the paint tools. The main things will be these two. My wife is super happy <laughs> that's no longer sitting in the living room. And she's also super happy that is no longer in the spare bedroom. I have two sets of tires since we go skiing so much. I have a set of summer tires and currently the winter tires are on the car. The goal is to use these closet doors for the sides and let's cut one open. We'll put on some shoes, do a little bit of research to see what's inside of these. Here is the massacre. <laughs> I did a little bit of research on the laptop and it was very interesting to learn. Most doors going inside the house have this hollow construction and solid wood frame. I put in a fastener just to see if it will hold. I am pretty happy with that. The plan will be those will go on the side, a few scrap two by fours on the bottom Sorry about the laundry. We will stand the tires vertically. Let's try to put it together. Here is the design I am going with. I initially thought of using one panel, but clearly <laughs> it's too skinny for the tire. So with two panels, I could put a couple of two by fours in the front and the back. The tires will sit on the ground like that. Let's make some measurements and make some cuts. I got it standing up. I thought I had enough two by four, but I ended up using these Colwood two by threes that I picked up from Home Depot for 70% off. Getting the fasteners here were <laughs> a little awkward. I <laughs> kind of just eyeballed it. As you can see, that is not very straight looking, but eventually I got a little bit better with the eyeballing. The plan is to have that fit right there. So I'm gonna remove the gardening stuff and that little shelf there because that will be the new shelf. The bottom tier is looking pretty good. My next level, I will take a two by four, have it fastened here to make a shelf. The, the two by fours I'm using are <laughs> so bowed out. That's, that's why they were 70% off, but I don't think it will matter for this build because I just need something to go on the sides for structural support. That will be where the chainsaw goes. 
Let's build it. I am super happy with this second tier, second level chainsaw shelf. I went with eight fasteners here. That's probably overkill, but I wanted this piece here to be pretty stable because the chainsaw is relatively heavy. The shelf was more closet door pieces and I did two fasteners for each piece. Let's work on the next level. Third tier is done. I didn't know <laughs> that these were different sizes. The skinnier ones are from the regular bedrooms and this one is from the master bedroom. So it's a little bit wider. When I put it up here, I was like, oh no, it didn't really fit. But I do like this staggered look because I could kind of reach for those things in the back. We are going to add one more on top and try to hang a few things from there. Fourth tier done any higher and I wouldn't be able to reach stuff up there. I used the other half of the master bedroom closet door so there's no shelf back here. But I do like this staggered look. It's pretty stable in a front back movement because of all of these but it wobbles <laughs> side to side a little bit. So I'm going to use these scraps to put horizontal braces in the back. This was for the gardening tools and this one was the scrap that I did a little shelf here. Hopefully that will give it some left and right support. I decided to go with these three back pieces because I had an extra door. The other side is the first one we cut open. It feels a lot more stable now. And I actually <laughs> really like the way it looks. We're gonna move it back in place, clean up a little bit and get everything on there.
got the second tier done, I felt a little weird without having a backing or a fence in the front. <laughs> I guess I'm worried the chainsaw is going to fall out. <laughs> so I took two random pieces of scrap. I like how these two fit. There's a little step there. These are pretty important chainsaw tools, so I didn't want to lose them. And since I put this little driver here, I might as well put the only other two we own because they didn't fit well on there because those little hooks I bought are a little awkward. Going to work on the next tier for the power tools. Third level power tool level done. I was luckily able to use more scrap pieces and they kind of worked out okay. I wanted to hang them, but I couldn't figure it out. So <laughs> this is the best we got. These one by twos have two holes because <laughs> the battery size were different. So I had to move everything down a little bit. I'm going to finish putting everything on there. Gonna organize the garage and clean up a little bit. I am all done. This is my second time building without following any plans. Turned out way better than the first time, the garden hose holder. This is so good. I am super happy that we were able to use these closet doors that we're gonna throw away anyways. Everything else is scraps. I have a few random bits that I don't know what to do with, so they're going there for now. A commenter on a previous video said you could just clamp your clamps to the wall and free up pegboard space. So that is genius. Thank you for that. I am super happy with where we are with the organization. I'm sure things will change as I get more tools. Can't wait to see where this goes. 31 video done. Oh no.